Oh, you're a dead man, Bert. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, Bert! We're having a birthday First, ooh, ice cream cake. Now it's time. Let's cut the cake so everybody has a piece that's the same size. We have two guests at the party, so we need two pieces to cut the Good. So now we got two pieces. Each piece is one half of that big tasty cake. Let's decorate the cake so every piece has the same number of toppings. Put one topping on every piece and do- Yes! Every piece of cake has the same number of toppings. That is so fair! Now let's add the birthday candles. Put one candle on every piece of cake. The pick up a candle. Oh, we did it! Time to serve the cake. My favorite part. Let's help them blow out the candle. Everyone has a piece of cake. Happy birthday, Pig! You found a rock for your comers, and here are the toppings we'll use. Okay, order up. The cow wants her pizza to have two pieces of broccoli. Add toppings to the pizza. When you think you've added the right number of toppings, click this button here. Perfect. Let's count to be sure. One, two. You found a rock for your... So the farmer wants to take a... One. 
what we see, then add them all to my notebook. Afterwards, I'll we'll choose a place to go and an animal to find. Forest, fjord, marsh, river, salmon at the river. Let's photograph salmon for our notebook. Molly, did you know that salmon swim upstream to lay their eggs? Sometimes when they swim, they jump out of the water. We need a photo of a salmon. Nice photos. You can take more or tap. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. You picked a photo for the caption. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a salmon. Head. Tap its head to label it. Dorsal fin. Tail. Neck free. Now you can draw Quincy. Good. Wow. We collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about salmon in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about salmon. Choose a place to go and an animal to... We're collecting different rocks and fossils to help us learn about the river. It's important to respect the land, so I've gotten permission from the local tribal council to collect here. Tap the jars to choose two kinds of rocks to collect. Tap the arrow button to see more jars. Shell fossils. Choose one more jar. Coral fossils. Canoeing is an important part of my culture. I'm... Let's canoe and look for rocks for Nina. Tap the river to steer the canoe with your paddle. You can also use the arrows on your keyboard. Ooh, look how these leaves are floating down the river. Yes, a river is a body of water that flows downhill and it's always moving. The movement is called a current and it can be fast or slow. Let's head over there. Collect all the rocks Nina needs. Tap the fossil shape like shells and the bumpy coral fossils. These shell fossils are from animals that were here a long time ago. Coral is an underwater animal that's found in the ocean. These fossils came from coral that lived here long ago. Huh? 
Nice collecting. Masi Chol River. Look what you found! Shell fossils and coral fossils. Tap or drag to put the rocks in the right jars. What do you notice is different about these rocks? The shell fossils have different shapes. Coral fossils are bump nice sorting. The table shows what we found. Let's read it. We found five shell fossils and six coral fossils. That was fun! Fishing camp. Fish camp. Fish camp from Hey everyone! My dad taught me how to fish for food. Now I'm fishing with Trini and her dad. And I have a book to help us. Which way should we go for a fishing adventure? Let's keep going. 